Hello there lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today time is around 6 a.m. here in Dhaka and I'm doing two episodes. Both are lists. Okay. Uh, today I, for some reason I don't feel like doing individual review. I have quite a few fragrances and samples to review but today I'll skip that and I will uh, show you a few fragrances of my you know from my collection which are my favorites. Uh, so first episode I would like to start with morning fragrances. Okay. And very particularly morning you must have noticed i do most of my reviews during this early morning like 4 a.m 3 a.m 5 6 you know because this time it's peaceful and quiet usually our city you know like third world countries they're very very loud and you know noisy because of all the people jam school office you know like eh. so i do like this morning time fresh breeze you know like less pollution and you know you can just enjoy peace of mind right so this kind of time i do like these fragrances a lot uh, just keep it in mind that you can wear whatever you like. You can wear the most spicy or rose, boozy, uh, tobacco. But uh, for me, morning is about freshness. So you to enhance freshness or, you know, enjoy a cup of tea. Like usually tea is nice, but for some reason I am more <laughs> morning time. I need coffee to wake up. So I'm having that. And I'll show you some of my fragrance. I reviewed them all. I know the smell. Some of them are discontinued, but you can hunt them down because they can be had for a good price. Let's go one by one. First fragrance is my scent of the morning. This is the fragrance I really, I think, is underrated. Nobody talks about it. There's no review on this. This is called uh, Karl Lagerfeld Bois de Cypress. Okay. Very nice looking, green looking bottle. These fragrances are affordable. Okay. In the retail outlet, it's going to be like $45. $55. Just wait for the price to go down. You can get this for 35 bucks. Okay. So $30, $35. These are very nice perfumes. I have reviewed, I think, the whole line from Karl Lagerfeld because I really like it. They have a vetiver, they have Yuzu, Sidra, and a few of the other ones. And from the female side, they are very nice. So basically, what they provide is fragrances within budget and nice smelling, you know, enhance the freshness for summer mostly. And uh, the fragrance is basically like, you know, great wear for summer. So in the morning, I don't need most of these fragrances are not loud and I'm not looking for loud perfumes. Okay. Uh, morning is about subtleness, you know, like peaceful and quiet, you know, back in the days, you know, your father would read newspaper and then, you know, the baker, you know, you can get bread delivered, fresh bakery. So this kind of thing, you know, early morning breakfast, you know, smell of uh, eggs or beans stuff like that so this is the kind of fragrance i think in the morning time it will be perfect uh boa de cypress check out my review i did not find it to be 10 out of 10 but very soothing for morning it's a fresh green scent with a little bit of a citrus second fragrance i'm going to show you is one of the ogs this fragrance is really hard to find now and used to be very very cheap nowadays the price have doubled almost get it if you can this is called jeffrey bean uh, bowling green okay that's all of rhymes all the time so this is a gentleman's scent this is very much like people who love uh was, was i gonna say manpower no not manpower like people who love masculine manly fragrances like you know powerhouse kind of fragrance this is not quite a powerhouse but it's a green fresh uh like a citrusy perfume nice balance between citrus and green uh, i would say better version of green ice to it that's how i can put it down uh or put it um, it reminds me of countryside okay like if you've been to countryside of some different countries like imagine like grass nice breeze not much of traffic this is the fragrance okay bowling green amazing fragrance with amazing longevity i am happy that i still have this next two are the discontinued fragrances i was talking about these are uh, not must-haves okay these are i think right now if you have to buy you have to pay a lot of money but if you see it like someone is selling it for 30 35 dollars take them you know because they are so worth it the first one i'm going to show you lacoste essential sport i found this fragrance in one of the vintage shops here and i don't disclose where i buy them because i do put a lot of effort hunting down fragrances or going from here to there the reason being i enjoy this you know sometimes i do that you know when i have some extra cash i just am you know in search for fragrances i pick up fragrances like this these are very you, you will not see this back in 2016 you could find one or two bottles now you won't say it basically the idea is it is like essential but opening is like lemon so very nice citrusy imagine versace puro meets lacoste essential that would be a fantastic fragrance blue meets green so this is kind of that fragrance and very soothing uh, decent longevity better than definitely the Karl Lagerfeld uh, this 125 ml juice I really like these eloquent bottles very nicely done okay Lacoste essential sport perfect fragrance for the morning if you want to get in detail like notes and all that please check out my full review I think I was uh, reviewing this like few months back okay so next one is another fragrance I 
uh, got by luck and uh, i saw it being offered in one of the pages it was a little bit more expensive than this regular price of uh, davidoff davidoff sort of for me is a brand that gets all the bashing hate uh, you know like negligence because people feel like davidoff hmm, it's a budget cheap house you know like calvin klein i, I read a comment a few days back someone said oh there's nothing good in calvin klein you know to each his own i respect everybody's uh, comment and choices but to masses out there it's a huge love like a lot of people love azaro you know ck davidoff this is called davidoff adventure or fresh this is an og fragrance okay if you do enjoy green citrusy perfume amazing citrus amazing i just love the opening of this there's just like something about this it just reminds me of some niche perfumes like aqua di parma tom ford's but the dry down falls a little bit flat so at that point it's very designer like it does nothing to do much with the adventure the original the orange juice but this one is very soothing for the morning so you can see the pattern that's going on next one uh, is my almost finished bottle i have a backup for this this is called clinics happy for men this is one of the most stunning juice ever with uh, one of the minimal performance okay uh, when i sprayed for the first time i fell in love with it back in 2000 whatever university time you know like i was very young not very young i mean <laughs> of course university you're not that young but much younger than now so when I was studying, one of my younger brothers bought this perfume uh, with him from Bangladesh and it was his personal collection. So I was into perfumes always. I saw the bottle, the orange bottle attracted me. See, these are the happiness for me. You know, like sometimes people feel you have to pay 200, 200 thousands of dollars to be happy. No, see, the name is happy. It's a happy fragrance. Even the cap, the atomizer, everything is orange. So basically what you spray is basically it's like a full of zestiness, citrus, uh, grapefruit, oranges and it is full of orange uh, if you like zesty orange like real orange like this kind of fruits you really love it and it really really like in high heat like versace menu fresh this thing first thing in the morning without one of the best things i think to wake you up in a happy mode clinics happy for men love this more than the women's version <clears throat> five left the next one is a fragrance i hardly uh, can say this is one of the best perfumes ever no this is one of the perhaps low-key release from prada and I was thinking to put Prada Loam. And I'm like, no, that's too mainstream. Who wears Prada Loam in the morning? <laughs> because, you know, it is an office scent. But, you know, you can wear whatever you want. Then Prada Amber or some of the best ones. But I want to pick up something that's underrated. This is Prada, a Luna Rosa Ocean. And this is the ADT. I had the ADP. I sold it off because it was a bit sweet and the darker side for winter. But I need something for summer. This is where Prada Luna Rosa Ocean uh, really, really rocks. This thing it is... In the same family okay make no mistake it's nothing brand new you smell this perhaps in many perfumes out there why sell why a likes of uh dylan blue savage you know so in that crowd there are many fragrances but prada luna rosa ocean sort of give you that uh blue feel in the morning i really like the coloration of the bottle too really nice atomizer yeah this fragrance is uh, not too sweet not too fresh it is kind of like a blue fragrance but with class you know prada does really uh, good job with their polishedness of the fragrance this is one of the polished blue fragrance if you stay indoors you'll get like three to four hours max but i like the way this smells okay fresh clean nothing wrong in the first thing in the morning prada luna rosa ocean next one i think is perhaps the most expensive one in this list called tom ford gray vetiver gray vetiver i was thinking which tom ford goes nearly port of you know i don't have that and in that blue lineup there are many others so tom ford does have some fresh ones but something about gray vetiver you know like vetiver is a note it's a f like a grassy sort of like a green note and it has some pepper some citrus to it the edt version has more citrus than this but this thing is a straight up beast let's say you're going for a morning walk if you put this on your shirt on your skin perhaps on the skin it will disappear after one and a half hour of jogging but when you hang that t-shirt later on it dries up and you want to go near that you know clothing or shirt you'll smell this gray vetiver very sophisticated perhaps a bit too expensive for morning wear but if you like vetiver this is one of the best vetiver hands down and tom ford you know they have a reputation so uh, you know i just don't know why i reached for it but i felt like you know vetiver would be a nice way to start the morning okay so tom ford gray vetiver so the next one is very high class fragrance this formulation is very hard to find this is called guerlain om okay and i don't know if it's the edp or what version they have got a few versions okay so this is basically that uh, citrusy green mojito sort of a tonic sort of smell it is on the sweeter side if you like rum okay, you'll be asking me why would we want to smell like rum in the first thing in the morning some people do love drinking man you know like if you are 
I mean, like I am, I am a free be- a believer of free. You know, like a world, whatever you like, you can enjoy. So boozy fragrances are nice. You know, I like gin tonic. I like fragrances like one summers. This thing is a sweet. Like let's say, imagine you are in the holiday and you go first thing in the morning. Many people like walking by the beach first thing in the morning because of the fresh breeze. You put this on, it will really uh, like complement that sort of walk experience. And you see the sunrise, the sun comes up soon, and you can stay up to one you know, on the beach, enjoy like a hey, bro, make me like a mojito or margarita, whatever, you know, just enjoy a drink. Anyway, am I suggesting drinking first thing in the morning? Nope. <laughs> but yeah, girl and home, uh, like low boise, this, the EDP perfume, they're all great. Uh, so girl and home, um, I think this is really beautiful fragrance from house of girl very well done and long lasting. The next one, I put this ahead of gravity for a reason. This is one of my most favorite perfume for the morning. And this is called Mugler Cologne. Very hard to find. And this is uh, sort of like, how to say, um, what uh, discontinued. Okay, so they put a new name and then they released it in the new rainbow color line. But that is also discontinued. So the story be- behind Mugler is they he wanted to make a fragrance, which is not a fragrance, which is for people who don't even like fragrances. Something, you know, he picked up inspiration from where he went for holiday and picked up inspiration like from outdoors like you know the plants and whatever was outside the hotel room something like that there's a story very inspiring and he created this and this was so hyped when i started my journey in 2015 and i saw this was massively popular every reviewer (laughs) said irish spring soap and stuff i enjoyed wearing this this is this is my experience amazing quality you know this thing is so good i mean you can pick up this one you can pick up like any of the other niche version of these. It's totally okay. But Mugler Cologne for me uh, is one of the masterpieces. Okay, so I have a massive 300 ml bottle. You can see uh, it really is a happiness, uh, happy fragrance. Okay, so Mugler Cologne. So last but not least, I want to put a discontinued fragrance once again. And this is the example of fragrances, like uh, type of fragrance that really, really is fresh, subtle, classy, citrusy, almond. All those things, you know, this is Guerlain Om, uh, sorry, not Om, Guerlain Low Medial Cologne. Okay, so they did release uh, Cool, the green juice. I think I have a decant of it somewhere. I broke my bottle. Let me show you that. I still have this one for the memory. You can see light green juice color. This is Cool. Okay, this thing is not better than Low Medial Cologne, but similar. That is more uh, minty. This thing is that, that lemon and then the almond. However, they made this composition. I do not get the best outcome like longevity out of it, but I admire this scent. In the whole lineup today, this is my most favorite in terms of the smell, okay? If you can hunt it down, if you can get a small bottle, you need to experience this. This is really classy. My favorite from this line is low medial uh, EDP, but hard to find now, okay? This is my first uh, uh, like take to not take, like first entry or the first, uh, how do I say? First position the fragrance today for the morning episode, Low Medial Cologne. Do let me know which ones are your favorites. Did you try all of these? And uh, what do you like to wear in the morning? Do you wear fragrances? Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Let's do another episode. Then I will upload it. Take care.